And on that note, can I introduce you to this very beautiful, this very rare bike, the Nukeproof Megawatt Carbon, featuring SRAM's all new Eagle powertrain. 170 mil front, 172 mil on the rear, 29, 27.5, five sizes. What a bike. Yes, it's a full-on enduro-style bike, and as I mentioned, one of the very few in the world to feature SRAM's new Eagle powertrain. Uh, some great features on this bike with that powertrain. The first one is auto shift. Quite possibly, auto shift is one of the biggest advances in technology on mountain bikes in, wow. 20, 30 years. It's also got coast shifts. So that means that when you're going downhill or you're going through uh, ground which is rising and falling, the bike will change gear. It'll get you into the right gear for the next section of track. Two modes, controversial, yes, I know, uh, rally and range mode, but they are infinitely adjustable. Now just look at this front of house here. It is just so clutter free, nothing to get in your vision when you're riding down the trails. As you can see, there's two pods on here. Now the pods actually control everything. They control your inboard and outboard shifting, your auto shift on or off, you've got your seat dropper, um, and also you've got your walk mode. But um, they kind of act like F1 paddles, if you want, which means you don't have to take your hands off the grips or move your fingers around. Not that you have to move your fingers in the first place because auto shift will change gear for you. It's gonna move around the bike a little bit. Now, obviously, a lot of people expected there to be a new SRAM motor. There is a motor, it's Brose powered, 90 Newton meters of torque, uh, 680 watts peak. It's a proper punchy motor. And the cool thing about this motor is that it really does act well under uh, extreme loads and extreme temperatures. Battery, easily removable, 720 watt hours, and uh, you can actually get a 630 watt hour battery, but on this bike, obviously, it's an enduro style bike. Um, Worth mentioning actually that you can't get the auto shift and coast shift technology without having the Eagle transmission. You will notice there's actually a cable on the back here because, um, because auto shift actually does tend to go through the gears a little bit more than on a manual shifting bike. You just need to have that bit, bit more uh, power in the bank. Now located on the top tube here is the Axis bridge display. Think of this as the means by which you can custom tune both the auto shift and the motor on the bike. It's not something you'd actually use to look at while you're riding down the trail. Um, folks, I'd just like you to come and take a 360 view of this bike. It really is a clean looking bike. So I want to get you to have a look at this side as well as the drive side. Um, worth mentioning that this bike was actually used as a test bed with SRAM. So basically, the SRAM engineers and the Nukeproof engineers and athletes use this to kind of to test out the Eagle powertrain. So you might have seen this bike in aluminium version, or actually the megawatt and aluminium version a few years ago. So it's been many years in development. So both athletes, the engineers from both parties were learning about such thing as geometries, as um, you know, automatic shifting under load, all these kind of things. So yeah, very much a collaborative process with the Nukeproof Megawatt Carbon and that Eagle powertrain. Before we get ahead of ourselves, probably worth revisiting two terms. Um, powertrain is actually the system. So where, where the, the Brose motor is just one part of the hardware. So you've got the access bridge, you've got the battery, you've got the pods, you've obviously got the wiring harness bits and pieces. Um, so that's powertrain, whereas Eagle transmission or T-type as it's more commonly known, is actually the collection of cassette derailleur, chain uh, cranks and chain ring. Do you know what? I actually think that Eagle transmission works better, and Stram will hate me saying this, in an auto shift environment than it does manually shifting. I just think it's smoother, uh, it's seems to be a bit quieter. It just does it at the right time and it's always thinking for you. So I reckon they could have even developed this knowing that it was gonna be an e-bike thing, maybe more than a mountain bike thing. Right, let's talk suspension design. Now, a full-on enduro bike like this needs to be stable for places such as up there, 
over there, up there, and down there. Big, nasty bits of terrain. It also needs to be agile. And you know what? The guys at Nukeproof, they know about suspension, but more than that, they know about e-mounted bike suspension and how it needs to be different to MTB. Hats off, folks. Hats off. Now, one of the things I love about this bike is how it will be able to ride itself out of trouble, whereby Auto Shift will take care of the gears, allowing you to focus on your line choice and flow. Now, it will also, now I've miraculously avoided the couch, it will also ride you into trouble given its 172 mil travel, climbing and descending geometry, plus, of course, the coast shift, which will always have you in the right gear and prepared. Now, it's also worth mentioning anti-squat. Now, anti-squat is a suspension mechanical resistance to compression due to chain forces from the rider. The percentage of anti-squat has actually increased on this bike from 82 to 102% in the climbing gears, which Nukeproof say helps keep the bike up. Uh, geometry, I mean, can't be a feature without a geometry. Look, I'm gonna talk about one geometry number because this bike has actually been designed around the seat tube angle offset. Or was that seat tube offset? One or the other. But what's critical is that on an EMTB, and I've said it a million times, you need a steeper seat tube angle to keep you balanced on the climb. So for taller riders, it's even more important that that seat is a bit more forward and not out the backs so of the wheels in the air. So. CT boxer on this bike changes with size and it's bang on. Uh, could talk about so many things about this bike, such things as the aluminium wheel set, which I think is a great uh, sensible option. 220, 200 rotors on the bike. Um, the beautifully buttery Zeb fork. But I think if I was to name one thing which I love about this bike is the fact that it is almost totally silent when you ride on the trail. Oh. But you know what? I do want to say how fantastically plush the suspension design is. Guys, get yourselves a spin on the Nukeproof Megawatt Carbon. It's a banger and it's available very soon at some reasonable prices.